project so we have the three contracts one we have the interface the other one we have the single swap and the multiple swap so things are looking good to me now what we can do is let's come here into the contract and i'm going to create a another file this will call erc20 token life and in this we're going to create the token because we need to have our own token which we're going to deploy into the test network and we'll create the liquidity pool and we'll do the swap so let's create the first token altogether i'm going to create two token and let's create another file this will call the erc20 token and we'll call boo okay so these are the two sort contract i have created and now in that we're going to come here and simply grab a couple of codes so this is the license identifier the convention we have to simply copy and um, that's what we're going to paste here simply paste here and paste here and now we have to create our tokens so we'll say mm, we'll have to import the open zeppelin so open zeppelin we have to get into the contract we have to get into the token erc20 erc20 dot so so we are using the erc20 interface to build our token you can write your own custom code but i don't want to go through that otherwise it will take a lot of time and open zeppelin is a really trustable package which you can trust to create your token so we have that one and i'm getting some sort of error so this error is coming fine so i remove that extra e which i have added in open zeppelin and now let's create the contract let's call the contract name to life token and we want to inherit the erc20 interface in that we're going to define our constructor erc20 and that we have to define the let's say token symbol and we have to define the token name so i'll call it live and inside that i want to call this min function so message.sender is going to be the owner of the entire contract entire token and how much token i want to assign is this close to 1 million i want to multiply with this this 10 and i'm going to use this decimal function so we'll have this 18 decimal so that looks good and we have our 1 million token so it's 2 6 1 2 3 4 5 so we have our token and if i come here you can see the entire so here we are in the erc20 token and you can see that how things are happening most of the work is taken away by this open zeppelin so you don't need to worry all you can do is to use the function so it will have the function symbols and all those things if you click on the mint you can see this is the mint function and that you have to pass the address you have to pass the amount and this is the check it do internally then we have this required before and these all things so these are the not pretty hard self-explanatory so if you want to know each and every function which we are using just simply click on this press control and click on that it will take you to that interface and you can have a look at what is happening inside that okay so that's the entire contract which we have written for our life token simply copy this one and come here and paste that exact code here and here we're going to do the changes in the contract name we'll call this let's say we'll say boo and so that's the name of the token we have given so we our two token is ready life and boo token is ready so let's close this one and this looks fine to me so let's come here and we have to simply compile clear the artifacts first and then we have to simply compile it so you can see successfully compile and we have got our uh, here we have all the five contract which we have written first we have two token then we have our interface for the erc20 tokens then we have the multi swap and we have single swap all the contract is ready so we are done with the five contract and we have tested those contract locally and our front end is also ready so what we can do is now we can start connecting this contract to the front end and do those trades and to check everything is working fine or not so once we're done with that once we build all the logic for connecting and all the swap functionality after that we're going to add the liquidity contract we're going to work on the liquidity contract and do the testing so whatever we have covered so far that's what we're going to connect to the front end in the next video. So let's move to that.